Okay. I hope you're in the right place. <laughs> now I just got to get myself in the right place. Okay, right. <clears throat> so, um, for, um, for purposes of myself, I've just got through a take of Melais in Paris and uh, going through my old songbook here. I think I found my big pile of lyrics. Um, this is When Your Heart Is Under Attack, which I wrote at 08.29 a.m. on the 5th of March, 1999, in a warehouse. <laughs> I know which one. The songwriter's warehouse. <laughs> the bad singer's warehouse. They used to stack us five deep on the shelves. Okay. You are really close. You can't even see if I'm playing the guitar, can you? Hence, for example, my glasses are open. My eyes look so bad today. I've just drawn attention to them. Okay, when your heart is under attack. I never played this with a black only ever finger picked at knife. My nails were all uneven like, Ah, excuses. Get on with it, boy. Get on with it, my friend. Okay, two, three, four. I'm sure it's slower actually. Nothing. 
Nothing left to see Nothing left to be When your heart is under attack When your heart is under attack It's a... Uh... I could hear it doing that in the background there. It's uh, just as a bit of trivia here. Hi Dylan, hi Emily, I hope you get to see these one day. Uh, but uh, it's um, how one slips back into the, I would say, Amdram, um, uh, you know, the performance mode of it, you know, get swept up in it. Considering, you know, I only found this song three days ago, and it's, um, I think it's the 26th, 27th of March, 2023 at the moment. And um, so it's nearly a quarter of a century. It's approaching quarter of a you know, approaching quarter of a century. It sounds a long time, doesn't it, when you say quarter of a century. If you say 24 years, you know, oh, that's not too bad, you know. When you say it's a quarter of a century, you're like, ah. Oh. And uh, my beautiful, amazing, wonderful, talented son. Sorry, I'll choke up in a minute if I talk about it too much, but some time back he called me and um, we were talking on the telephone and he said, how old are you, Daddy? And I said, well, I'm 61, though. He's 10, you know. He said, 61, you're a granddad. I said, well, no, I can't be a granddad for a few years yet, then. I said, well, don't hang around. But the next day, if you're watching this on YouTube and you click up video, I think it's 11.45 or... No, it must be, it must be lower than that, it must be like 10.45. I, I wrote and recorded, um, As Ye Sow, So Shall Ye Reap. It's on that electric there. And I was thinking at the end of it, okay, well, let's see you do that when you're 60. <laughs> but... Uh, and it's annoying sometimes when I do these new songs that I'm writing, because I'm still writing, you know, two, three songs a week, although I've stopped now, there won't be any more songs. Um, and uh, because I have to write them and record them, and because I have so little time left on the planet, the airplanes are coming across, so I can't do any more singing on any case. Well, maybe I should, actually. <laughs> and on V2 engine, Hans. <laughs> Play, play the solo, Hans. <laughs> and on rotor blade, Eric. Um, so I don't get time to live with the songs like I used to, because I, I would have played that on and off through, in, in concert for a few times. But now time is so short, so I get the lyrics done. I write the lyrics, I have to plug in, uh, find the music. Uh, which doesn't take long because the music kind of, or a cadence comes to me and I get the music and then I record it and maybe I'll do eight or nine takes, try different rhythms. Normally start with a slow one these days just to get myself going, uh, but then that's it and on to the next one. Then I've got to copyright it, try and put it into a book so my children can own it later on. And it's a bit frustrating, you know, as I've discovered my old song pile here the other day. And I'm just pulling that at random songs I've not touched since I retired from the stage in 2000. Uh, years will bleed into one, but it's probably about mid-2000, I guess, I think. Um, I've not been able to find any more set lists. And uh, is that you calling me, telling me to shut up, get on, sing another song? <laughs> We've lower on this video to hear your life story. I don't think it's there. No more kittens playing the piano, or nuns getting stuck up chimneys, or whatever. People watch on YouTube, it gets all the hits and everything, you know? <laughs> You know, so, so these songs you know, I've lived with, you know, and I can get back into them, whereas the new ones I don't get that luxury, you know, to go back and dig it out a couple of weeks later and work on it, and a couple of weeks later and road test it. However, I do have, uh, so when I, that just came about the fact that I was getting old, you know, so I used to use the guitar as a pronunciation instrument, you know, so. 
these dramatic pauses in there and stuff. Has he forgotten the music? I said, get up there for half a beat. Nothing left to see. Nothing left to be. When your heart is under attack. When your heart is under attack. <laughs> okay, you know what? I feel like the urge to play that song again. I think the battery's flat on that one now, so I'll turn you off first. I have no idea it's even. Oh! Was that sweet Judy Lewis? Sometimes I catch a view of those um, song sheets and I want to play them.